Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's chakra reading. Um, I just want to get this camera situated. Um, the chakra reading is actually one of my favorites to do. Aside from love readings, because you guys know I love love. <laughs> um, but the chakra reading is where we talk about the energy points of your body. And every energy point has a specific um, purpose. So let me go through my cards and pull out all of the chakra cards. Um, because I want to get those so that you have a visual when I'm talking about it. So we have seven chakra points in our body. We actually have way more, but um, the main ones are, the ones that are most commonly known are seven of them. And um, they all serve a purpose. And when you are tapping in, when you're spiritually connected, when you are just really on the path to your awakening and all of that, your, your chakras are kind of something that you pay more attention to. So um, I'm going to light a candle. I have another one lit already, but I'm going to light another candle. My space feels so good today. It feels so cleansed and like very vibrant. <sighs> I love the smell of um, lavender. Okay, so um, as you can tell, I'm going to be working with the Psychic Tarot. That's this deck. Um, the, I have the chakra cards pulled from that, so let me put them in order. Okay. Um, I'm going to be working with the Rider Waite Tarot because I feel like visually this is the one that's the easiest to just understand for you guys. Um, I'm also going to be pulling from the Psychic Tarot as well since I already have that deck out. And perhaps I'll pull from, let's pull from the Universal Mind Oracle. So get comfortable. This reading um, might be a little bit lengthy because we will talk on all seven. And I'm going to be pulling multiple cards for each one. Um, okay, so we're going to start with the root chakra. So root chakra, or the base chakra as this card is, is showing it as, is all about the color red. It associates with the color red, but it's all about grounding. And when you are grounded, you feel secure. You feel confident. You feel um, absolutely connected to earth, to yourself. Um, a lot of times the root chakra, it signifies your home life. Okay, so we're going to look at that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards right now so that I don't have to shuffle them throughout the reading because that does take up time. So as I shuffle, I'm just asking that everything is placed as it should be or as it's meant to be for the reading so that we could just pull straight from the deck, okay? So please bear with me while I get your cards ready to go. Heart chakra is popping up in my mind, so I'm feeling like spirit is kind of showing me that the heart chakra is the one that we're going to be putting a lot of um, attention to. Um, so maybe you are dealing with issues with self-love or matters of the heart, so your relationships with other people, um, but the heart chakra keeps coming to mind. I'm also feeling like your, th your third eye. I feel like spirit wants you to know that your third eye is weak, um, almost like you are needing more, Oop, there we go, um, almost like you are needing more focus. Spirit is showing me a, a, um, a, what looks like a tunnel 
like tunnel view and I feel like they're saying they're showing me this because they're saying you tend to have tunnel vision when it comes to matters of your life and what that means is I feel like you are really like you you zone in and you are so focused on just one um one issue one thing almost like you get very obsessive over it okay so we're gonna stop there almost like you get obsessive over it and um so I feel like that's what spirit is, is showing me is the tunnel is like when it comes to your third eye, when it comes to trusting your intuition, um, you either you ignore it or you you see it, you know what's there, you feel it, but you don't listen to yourself enough. OK, so let's talk about the base chakra, the root chakra. This is going to symbolize your home life. This is symbolizing how you are grounded, all of that. <clears throat> and we have the three of swords layers conflict and defeat so the three of swords layers conflict and defeat um i really feel like this is really showing me groundedness you're not very grounded um in fact you're possibly going through shifts right now where you are feeling like you need a new um set of soil to plant your seeds Almost like you're going through a shift of change. Um, the layers just make me feel like there's layers upon layers of emotions, hurt, pain, feelings, death, that kind of stuff layered on top of each other. Your foundation is based on years of issues, years of um, hurts and pains. And you never really cleaned house. It's almost like you just piled on a layer of of protection over the the mess and then you kept building on top of it so I feel like that's what layers is showing for your root chakra the conflict and defeat and the three of swords is really telling me that if you continue to do this your foundation is going to constantly be compromised um, I feel like right now your home life isn't where it, it is where you want it to be where you desire it to be I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on there is it this could be this could be fighting going on between you and someone else in the household, but this could also signify um, yourself. Maybe you are in um, odds with yourself. Your home life isn't what you want it to be. It's not, um, you know, you're not living in the area that you feel comfortable with. Maybe your, your heart is being called somewhere else, okay? So to start off with, with quite some heavy cards for the root chakra is showing me that automatically you're not grounded. And when you're not grounded, other areas of your life are going to feel very rocky. So um, that's just that's just part of part of what it is. Um, I really feel like this is um, this is temporary. Obviously, this isn't going to be forever for you. But I do feel like there is need for change. That there is need for cleaning house. I feel like that's what spirit wants me to say is you need to clean house. And this could be getting rid of clutter. This could be getting rid of junk that reminds you of past issues. Um, but also this could be people and maybe there's a living situation that you're not help, happy with. It could also be the, the location as well. Maybe you are just well overdue for moving. So that's, that's heavy energy right there. But we will, um, I'll put these cards aside so that I can refer back to them if I need to. Whew, okay, let's start with it. Let's, let's go on to the sacral chakra. That was heavy first, my love. So don't get scared or don't get like, don't feel bad just because the first set of cards was kind of rough. Um, I feel like that sets the tone for the reading, but it's setting a tone of a need for you to really focus inward and, and helping yourself. So um, the sacral chakra, which is the next one up, it's orange. It associates with the color orange it is it rests in your abdomen area it is looked at as the chakra of creation to be creative so this is like where your inspiration will come from this is creation energy so if you um, reproduce or you know your ability to reproduce um, it's also giving life okay so childbearing that kind of thing but it's also giving life to your creation or your desire to manifest in life too. Um, okay, so we have the death card. I love it. Awareness. 
roots and branches beautiful so this right off the bat let's start with roots and branches this would be more of a, of a root chakra energy for me but the fact that the roots and branches is coming up in your sacral is telling me that what is most important to you at this time where what really roots and grounds you is your creative aspect your ability to create you are a very artistic person you are very express expressive you are very um like uh, when you, you like you could get lost in an activity that you really enjoy whether it's painting or writing or reading or creating or whatever the case may be there's something that you like to do as a hobby or just something that really um, comforts you and relaxes you that you can get lost in. You could do that for days and days and days. Um, so I also feel like Spirit is saying you neglect the home life or you neglect either grounding yourself or taking care of the foundation of certain things in your life because you are so involved in the creation aspect. So definitely your sacral chakra is strong <laughs> it is strong it is powerful it is probably the the chakra you are most using at the moment we have awareness i love this um awareness is also the magician in the tarot um which tells me that you are all about um manifesting your desires so you are definitely in the energy of you need to create you love creation you love artwork you love just losing your mind to an activity that you enjoy okay and when it's awareness i feel it makes you feel like magic this is where your passion resides okay the death card is transformation whatever it is whatever activity that you enjoy doing transforms you it actually turns you into a whole different person it actually helps you release and rebirth so the whole sacral chakra for you is very very strong it is very abundant in your life um i feel like you are on point <laughs> you are on point with your sacral chakra this is definitely one that is getting a lot of love and attention from you um but we also have to be careful because the roots and branches card made me feel like you tend to give so much time attention and love to this particular activity that um, you tend to neglect other things or responsibilities around you. So I like to think of the root chakra as like your, this is your responsibility card. Like we are all responsible for paying our bills on time, for paying rent, whatever. But we also like to have fun. And that's what sacral chakra is. So there you go. Next is solar plexus. Now this one is yellow and it sits at your at your stomach, your belly. This is your gut instinct. This is your monitor for health, okay? So I always tell my clients, when we are not feeling good, when we are getting a gut feeling about somebody, we will feel it in our sacral chakra. We will, I mean our solar plexus chakra. We will feel it in our bellies. It's the gut instinct. It's the butterflies in the stomach. It is when we're not feeling good, it's the stomach aches or it's just feeling sick or nauseous. You know what I mean? We have two of um, two of swords, passion ignited, be love. So it's kind of like you have a give and take, okay? Right now what I'm seeing is the passion ignited is showing you when you do feel passionate about somebody, when you feel um, like if you're single, this is going to be the, the, the chakra that is going to give you the feeling of butterflies in your stomach when you meet someone amazing. So this is the chakra you want to pay attention to if you are single and like you're dating people for the first time. If you're in a relationship, this is also the chakra you pay attention to to gauge how your relationship is going in what direction. So Passion Ignited tells me you definitely feel it, okay, in your belly. Um, it's also very important for you to enjoy everything that you are taking part in, which reminds me of the sacral chakra that we just read about because I do feel like you're a very creative individual. So participating in activities that make you feel full and whole and and beautiful and happy are very important to you you are a very passionate individual two of swords though is block okay and i feel like right now at this time 
your solar plexus chakra is a little bit blocked. And I feel like this card is coming up to just kind of show you that something recently has happened or you're recently feeling vibes about somebody or something and you're not trusting it. It's almost like you're blocking those feelings out. Either you don't want to, you don't want to see it or feel it, or um, you're unable to read someone in your life right now. Okay, so that's a completely t intuitive message for you. Um, that's how I'm deciphering that message. And be love. Um, you're very open. You're very loving. You're very. Um, a very forgiving person but sometimes that kind of bites you in the ass as well um, your mindset on life is to be a loving person to anybody and everybody um, and that's why I say it bites you in the ass sometimes because not everybody deserves your love and not everybody deserves your attention okay and your time and energy so I feel like sometimes you don't trust the gut feelings that you get <laughs> you don't trust your instincts and that's when people come in and you know uproot everything they hurt you they wreak havoc on your life that kind of thing we all are guilty of this nobody is perfect nobody listens completely to their gut I am um, I do the same thing there's times where my gut is telling me don't do this don't do this and I do it anyway <laughs> So don't feel bad about it, but just know that your gut instincts are almost always on point. And the more that you trust it, the more accurate, the more um, in tune and connected you will be to your higher self. Um, but the more that you don't listen to your gut instincts or the red flags, I feel like the more attention, like the more energy is going to be sucked out of you from these certain people that don't deserve it. So, completely intuitive message for you, love. Um, next, we have the heart chakra. This is the one that was popping up in my mind when I was shuffling for you. So, I do feel like heart chakra energy needs a lot of work, as well as the third eye. So, w w I'm really curious to see what cards come up for you. Um, but the heart chakra is associated with the color green. It's obviously in your heart or chest area. It is the chakra that is um, in the middle. It's the center point in, in our bodies. So right below it are the three chakras we just talked about. Right above it are the next three. So um, this is the center point. It's kind of like, I like to look at the, as the, the solar plexus as the most important chakra because it's our health mechanism. But the heart chakra is technically very vital as well. So we have the empress. So this is definitely mother energy or self-love issues. We have firm foundation, purpose, and duty. I love it. So <laughs> well, like I said earlier about you being very loving and you being very, um, you're all about love. You're all about, you know, you love everybody and anybody and you give everyone a second chance. That's Empress energy, okay? Um, Empress energy is nurturing you want to take care of everybody you want to help everybody who is wounded and hurting but sometimes you can't and I feel like I have to tell you that I feel like I also have to say sometimes you don't have the energy to do it because your own energy is weak okay so you definitely have a huge heart you give a lot of yourself to other people but sometimes I feel like you give too much of yourself and that's why I was feeling it when I was shuffling that your heart chakra is weak, that you need to spend more time devoting to yourself, okay? So Empress energy is coming up too. It's, all the, it's also mother energy or grandmother. So if you do have, um, you know, there's a, a significant female on the other side, perhaps that they are always around you and they're just making it known that they're in your heart, okay? Um... Firm foundation, I love like you keep getting foundation cards because this one is definitely associated with the root chakra, which is where we were talking about it's very weak. Your heart, where your heart is, is where your home is. That's what spirit is saying. Your heart is where your home is. And I feel like that's why you try to love and take care of everybody because um, 
you want the whole environment around you at all times with everybody, different people, to always be positive and happy. Um, and I have to tell you that as beautiful as that is, um, sometimes it's almost impossible to ensure that everybody is positive or everybody's happy. We can't always make everyone happy. Purpose and duty. You feel it in your soul that it is your purpose and duty to love and to take care of and to nurture everybody. Um, but I am here to also tell you it is also your purpose and duty to love and nurture yourself so that you are strong enough to do this for others, okay? Um, I also feel like on a metaphysical standpoint, I feel it is also your purpose and your calling to be of a healer type energy. So I don't know if, um, you know, if you do a lot of that stuff on the outside or if that is something that you wanted to become more familiar with, but I feel like once you can ground yourself and you become more secure in you, who you are, Reiki energy or healing with your hands or some sort of that way you would be able to spread your love to other people, okay? So that's what I'm seeing with that. Um, I do feel called to pull... Ooh, I don't want to knock my candle over. <laughs> I do feel called to pull from the Connected and Free Oracle for right now about that because I do feel like you are in, um, maybe you have thought about becoming a healer of some sort or a reader, or maybe you're already doing that and you just want to know some more about it. So I feel called to do a quick little pull on that just for you. <laughs> see what um what comes up especially because of that purpose and duty card that just really <laughs> there's your third eye chakra think with your heart intuition uh, or initiation I'm sorry I love it. So thinking with your heart, obviously, like I was saying with the heart chakra, we just read for the heart chakra. It's important for you. Thinking, loving, being with your heart. Third eye chakra. This is the other chakra I was telling you that I feel is weak. Okay. This is also the chakra that you utilize when you are a healer or a reader. So keep that in mind. And then we have initiation. So I feel like initiation is almost like you're calling um, somebody or like a mentor or someone who inspires you, um, almost makes you feel like you were initiated in the spiritual path, in the spiritual realm, in the world. So I feel like that's important for you. Almost like when someone tells you you have that calling, that's when you know you can accept it within yourself. So I do feel like that's beautiful. I'm glad I pulled on that <laughs> because... Um, I do feel like that is a path for you. It doesn't have to be something that you do full time. Um, it could just be something you do on your own time. But I do feel like that is something you are curious about. So beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the throat chakra. This is blue. It sits in our throat, obviously. It is communication, speaking your truth. It is the way you express yourself. We have mental conflict naked four of pentacles what are you holding in what are you so afraid to express something is there something is blocking your ability to communicate your your want to communicate your feelings your your what what is on your mind um Mental conflict is your mind. You're constantly telling yourself. You're doubting yourself. Um, when you're feeling a call to something, your mind will tell you. Your rational side will kick in. The four of pentacles, either you are super protective of your path and you're very secretive about it or you're holding it in. You feel like you can't always speak your truth. Maybe you struggle with really verbalizing stuff right now. That's like dealing with right now. Everything that I'm re reading about is right now. It's not your entire life. It's just in this moment, this current energy. The naked card, that really feels like to me when, when you're naked, you are comfortable in your own skin and you're comfortable with who you are 
And I feel like with the throat chakra, the ability to speak your truth, you really have to be 100% comfortable with yourself. And when you're not like that, it's hard for you to express yourself. So again, with the self-love and the self-acceptance, I think that that is key for you to really bloom in other areas of yourself. Third eye chakra, this is associated with indigo or the color purple, okay? Third eye chakra is all about the psychic senses. This is rests in your um, forehead right between the brows. It is all about your ability to see with your mind's eye, your psychic connection, your ability to connect with your higher self, that kind of thing. Your intuition. We have new beginnings. Epiphany. I love it. The Three of Cups. Beautiful. So <laughs> within three months, three weeks to three months, um, something big, a aha moment, because that's what the epiphany card is. Something's going to make sense. Things are going to click. This could be a coven. This could be groups of friends. This could be teachers or mentors or a class you will take with three students. Um, you're diving in with your third eye. New beginnings is showing there's a path ahead of you with this, okay? So I do feel like you are called to go the path of a healer or a reader. I feel like something is pulling towards you to do that, to learn about it. So I feel like that is something that you're gonna be really diving into and looking into in the next few weeks to months, okay? Um, your third eye is small right now. I feel like it's intuitively, I feel like it's small, it's weak, but it has a lot to do with your trust or lack of trust in yourself. It also has a hell of a lot to do with your root chakra being chaotic. <laughs> when your root chakra is all over the place and you don't feel grounded, like I said, everything else around you is kind of shaky. So if you feel like your love life is rocky, your your home life is rocky, your your foundation, um, your your money, your financial life is rocky, everything just doesn't fit or feel right, nine times out of ten, it is because your root chakra is all over the place. Well, you have to be firmly grounded and rooted in your life before everything else will fall into place. If you are not, of course, you're going to feel all over the place. So... Once your root chakra is, you are like invested in what you want in life and you know and you have a plan and your goals and blah, 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 everything else will start to make sense, okay? Finally, we have the crown chakra. This is the one that sits at the top of your head. It is your spirit connection. Think of it as your telephone line to spirit or your telephone line to yourself, your higher self or God. Okay, it's associated with the color pink in this deck, but also um, it could be white. So some people see it as white light. And we have three of wands. Manifest. Positive movement forward. I love it. Positive movement forward and three of wands. You are definitely desiring a path, a new path, something else. Okay. Your spiritual journey is ready to move. You are ready to shift. You are ready to get going. You want to manifest. Manifesting is you have a goal in mind and you're going to manifest change in your life. So I do feel like you were on the brink of change. You were on the brink of enhancing. If you're all, if you've already been a spiritual person and your journey has already started, you were on the brink of manifesting more. So this could be a class you're going to take. This could be new friends that you're going to make. This could be um, <coughs> a new purpose that you want to dive into. Um, you know, Maybe you're going to pick up a book one day and read about something that just totally inspires you. Whatever the case may be, your path is shifting and changing. And I feel like spirit is, is just saying like it's time. It is time for you to move forward. Stop looking into the past, that sort of thing. Three of Wands is all about like the desire for relocating, so moving. Like I told you, I feel like your root chakra is saying moving. I feel like you are meant to pick up and go somewhere else 
And that might be the question, that might be the puzzle to the piece that will put everything together for you. So if you are desiring a move or some, you know, something along those lines, manifest it. Magic, you know, your energy. Um, it's possible and it's there. So I love that, my love. I think that this is a beautiful... Um, it's a beautiful chakra of reading. I feel like there is some stuff coming up for you in the next three to four, no, three, three weeks to three months. Um, I feel like you are meant to be a reader. I feel like you are meant to be some sort of a reader, a healer. Your spiritual journey is supposed to level up. Okay. Um, so if you do feel that call, I'm pretty much saying that, yes, your intuition is on point. Um, and I wish you the like all of the best with that journey because I can only tell you from my own personal experience, it's a beautiful thing. So trust yourself and know that you're worthy of it and that anything can happen. So <laughs> with that, my love, I will leave you. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you and your chakras. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a message. Um, email me. And anyone who's watching, this chakra reading is available in my shop. Click the link in the bio. Check me out. And I will read for you guys later. Bye, my loves.